G'day, Slash and Hacks here, the quick embeddable UI tutorial. First things first, you want to implement embeddable UI and then implement the method body interface property. This returns a property that holds the body interface. So we'll create that now. Object property. And what we can do here is we can lazy load or lazy instantiate the body interface property. All that is is checking if it's null, and if it is null, creating it. Easy peasy. Um, we want to load in our UI here too. Set the controller, pretty basic, pretty standard UI loading, and then node, node equals dot load. We want to use the resources class. We can't use embeddable UI tutorial dot class dot get resource as stream because that won't work on the bot store and yeah, that's pretty much the only reason why. I'm sure there's reasons why. But that's the only reason. That's the main reason. It'll work locally, but not on the bot store. I'm pretty sure the bot store will reject it. And there we go, it'll load in that. That's a lie though, because it's not magic, it doesn't know what the actual embeddable UI is public so what we do is we set the embeddable UI in the constructor the reason why it's done in the constructor is because if you do it on onstart it will get a little flicker of this bot has no user interface does not have an interface and then it'll load in which depending on how long it takes for that to load in people might get annoyed at it. So we'll recompile, reload, and start. And there we go, there's the UI. Simple as that. Um, I'll quickly show you how I loaded the image. It's simple image using the resources class and for those people who want to have multiple UIs but have them change that's as simple as getting the body interface property and then just changing the node in it um, I'll disable public void on start I'm only doing this because the account that I put in is not a real account and the login handler, if it can't log you in, will stop the bot, as it should. But here we go, yep, fxml loader, loader, so we load the new UI, and this shouldn't be done in on loop, but this is just an example, loader.setcontroller, new test. load again using the resources class no, no. you could just do um, body interface property dot set and then chuck that inside it but if you want to let's say you load in a certain like if you want to track what it is we go body interface property dot set no and then we'll go 
we just stop it after this so it doesn't keep looping. One thing you want to do though when you change it is make sure it's done on the platform thread. Since this is in the on loop it means it's on the bot thread, the bot platform. Yeah. So what we do is you use platform.run later to put it on the FX application thread. And there we go. We'll give this a run. That instance. After five seconds, it'll change. And there we go, that's how you change it, that's how you load a UI. If you get the, if you get this bot does not have an interface, it's probably because you forgot to set the embeddable UI. Other than that, that's about it.